I would like to close the session with this question, and it's a tough question, I admit that, but I was challenged the other day, I was um, hearing the uh, Bill Taylor, who is the CEO of Fast Company Talk, and are you all familiar with Fast Company Magazine? It's, it's a great magazine, I, I read it regularly, but they always seem to have the edge on what's going on with business in a, in a way that I think tells good stories that you can relate to. And they were, he was challenging to say the question of, you know, what do you do better or differently that others who do, are in your industry or competing with you don't do that make you stand apart and such that if you didn't do it anymore, if you had to hang the, you know, gone fishing sign on your front door, would people miss you? I thought, wow, that's a powerful question. And because it is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point to Ron first because you've gone through it the most recently because you, your organization is three years old and I know you really thought this through when you started your bank. What are we going to stand for? You're in a very banked yeah. business. I mean, almost there's very few underbanked neighborhoods anymore. Mm -hmm. So how did you go about answering that question for yourself? And what would you say is that thing that sets you apart from the other banks? Well, uh, one, and I, I'm, we got asked this question quite a bit. It was... Uh, you know, when we told them we're starting another bank, they said, not another bank. And, of course, that's what we came out with was that we're not another bank. And, uh, and the tagline being the difference is real. And uh, in one of the sessions we had, I said, well, the one thing we're going to do is answer our phone. So <laughs> that differentiated us. Now, something as simple as that, though, but what that set up was we're going to be responsive. We'll get back to you. We will follow through. Now, those are not real complex things, but... We're people that create solutions, and we do it simply. And we follow uh, you know, a process uh, to make sure that we, we take care of our customers. It, it's, um, it's, it's truly uh, a, kind of why the image of the hummingbird. It's a very um, a spectacular bird. It's very competitive. It, it represents responsiveness, uh, speed. You're agile. and. Uh, so we look at that every day and you know, we ask people to kind of put a signature on their day. We want to be a signature bank in this community. So everything tied together, that, that umbrella you were talking about earlier, of how all this flows and works. So um, you know, we don't try to do anything that complex. But it's amazing you know, when we raised our capital and today we're almost $500 million. And we opened our first office mm. in July of 07. Wow. Yeah. Terrific. So it works. It's it works. a pretty good hummingbird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, you won an award for being a standout organization within your body, your network of mm -hmm. sister and brother alliances. Mm -hmm. What would you say sets your paper apart? I think in this community it's that we are reporting on local business news. You know, you had mentioned Fast Company and they do kind of a national look, whereas we um, do the local look and you can't get that everywhere else. The other thing that we... Um, live and breathe and want to put into our publication is that whatever we report on or put into the publication is a way for people either to learn um, and grow their business or to connect them to other people in which they can do business with. So we're always, we know companies are run by people, so we're always looking to introduce our readers to other pe people as well through our pages. Um, and that, and we also have the web presence, which isn't that different, I would say, from any other publication. However, uh, we also do many events throughout the year, um, and that, again, is another way to connect people in the business community and to bring them together and to help to introduce them to other people. So that's, that's what I would say we do differently. Okay, thanks. Anything you want to add, anybody? I think... Uh, I I guess if you asked um, the executive committee of Tennessee Bun Company what is its main um, vision, goal, strategy, whatever the term, what 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 is our what is our main thing we do? What's our main mission? Um, I th we would say we're customer centered, customer oriented business. A lot of bakers might say, well, we espouse to operational excellence. We like to make the best quality bakery product or manufacturing. We like to manufacture the best products, and, and we certainly do, but we're really customer-centered. So um, 
that was that's a little bit for an accountant to learn to be customer centered incredibly because I have a tendency to want to focus on the detail and so on not stay oriented to the customer and what the customer wants so all you got to do uh, there and the other fact is in our business we're manufacturing bakery so not all the departments see what is typically known as the customer uh, in our case not the engineering department which is in charge of the equipment and facilities for the business and downtime and uptime and all that and mean time to repair and so on are big metrics for them they they rarely see McDonald's or Pepperidge Farm or any of the customers we have so customer centered to them doesn't necessarily make any sense in the true sense of the word but all we ask them to do is figure out who your customer is and center on them so uh, engineering departments customer would be the production department so obviously they got to serve their customer. So it's being customer centered. So for me personally, and I, I took this as a personal question, what would be the result of me being sick one day or sick a week, Margaret, and not being able to show up? Would anyone notice? <laughs> That's the question, right? Well, actually, and I so what your about business, me? you take it there. Yeah. What about me <laughs> would cause someone to say, hey, it's been four days, where's Tom? Well, because I pay attention to the customer. Now, the customer, in, for me, would be the CEO, but it's also the customer, all the folks that need me, as Vic says, to remove the obstacles they have that day, check on how's my service, how are the obstacles going, is there anything I can do for you uh, today to make your job easier, to make you look better, in the eyes of your those that would review your performance how can I focus on my customer and everybody in our place if they really think about it has a customer so all they have to be all we ask them to be is customer oriented